Chinese Lunar New Year began on the 10th of February with celebrations being held around the world. The Queensland Premier's Department hosted its 11th annual Chinese Lunar New Year celebration on the 13th of February. The marquee on the lawn of the parliamentary annex was bathed in red lighting, a tradition set hundreds of years ago with the colour red believed to scare the legendary Chinese monster Nian. Queensland Premier Campbell Newman acknowledged people of Chinese descent from mainland China, Taiwan, Hong Kong and Malaysia and their huge contribution to Queensland and wished them all a happy new year. Along with plenty of food and champagne, guests were treated to a traditional lion dance. At one point it looked as if the Premier was about to be eaten by one of the lions. Some of the guests spoke about the value of the cross-cultural event. This uh, event is important because it forms a, a mainstream society recognition of our traditional culture and also recognition and respect of the diverse tribal and ethnic uh, subtlety of our geographical uh, tributes. I think it can bring more understanding between the different cultures. You know, you need to get to know a person to understand them. And I think when we get together, you know, in a function like this, where we can have a little bit to eat and a little bit to drink and have some conversation, you start to build a relationship. This year is the year of the snake, but whether or not a snake is considered lucky depends where you live. The year of the snake is extremely interesting, so I've heard a number of times now about how, how it's uh, very lucky to have a snake in your house, um, except if it's got a red belly, you know, then uh, here in Australia it's not so lucky to have a snake in your house. <laughs> They're very poisonous. <laughs> With Chinese New Year celebrations only just beginning, there is still another week of celebrating before the last day of Chinese New Year. NTD News, Brisbane, Australia.